Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Admiral Jarrah, what's, uh, what's more important, going to church or protesting? I'm, I'm a public health person. I'm not going to say what's more important, uh, but both uh, need to have uh, pr protection by the guidelines. Democrats don't think that. Democrats think protesting is a lot more important than going to church. We got a story from Governor Northam. 16 people go to a sanctuary that holds 225 people. They get cited. Nothing happens to thousands and thousands of people who protest not maintaining social distance and not wearing a mask. How about this one? What's more important, going to a loved one's funeral or protesting? We absolutely need to be consistent in the way we apply things. And uh, uh, there's obviously some inconsistency. That's because the First Amendment is the First Amendment, not just parts of it, right? I'm not a constitutional lawyer. No, but you're an American citizen. You understand your rights. You understand First the Amendment Constitution, the Bill Amendment. of Rights, the First Amendment has a number of rights. Not, it doesn't just say protesting trumps everything else. No, Mayor correct. de Blasio, Mayor de Blasio, when New Yorkers who had gathered to mourn a Hasidic rabbi, he said this, my message to the Jewish community and all communities is this simple. The time for warnings has passed. I've instructed NYPD to proceed immediately to summons them. You go to someone's funeral, you're going to get arrested, but you can protest in the streets, not maintain social distancing. How about this one? What's more important, engaging in your livelihood, running your business, or protesting? Again, you're having a rhetorical question there. We get your point. I think public health practice— Well, you might get my point, but this is the problem. Democrat governors, Democrat mayors don't. Mayor Garcetti said this. He said he was going to— uh, turn off people's utilities, shut off utilities if anyone tried to reopen their business. Unbelievable. And yet, Mayor Garcetti, oh, here's what else Mayor Garcetti said. He said, in, back in April, he said, snitches will be rewarded. What's more important, Admiral, rewarding snitches for ratting out their neighbor who goes to an empty beach or actually having the police stop rioters and looters and big groups destroying national monuments and protesting and destroying private property. Which one do you think of those is more important? Well, let me make a statement that public health standards need to be consistently applied. And when they're inconsistently applied, there's going to be a lot of frustration among the people who are trying no to apply. No kidding. No kidding. And we have seen the height of inconsistency from Democrat mayors, Democrat governors all over this country. What do you think is more important, Admiral? The president cutting off travel to China, where this pandemic started at an early date, or Joe Biden calling that same action xenophobic? Which is more important? Restricting travel from China and then Europe was really critical steps for us to slow the infusion of infected individuals into the country. No kidding. No kidding. Not xenophobic, was it? Just smart move. I have not seen any xenophobia in any of our discussions. We're trying to make decisions based on public Democrats sure only. saw it way back when the president made a decision that everyone else criticized. Democrats sure saw it. Democrats are defending the World Health Organization. Probably, it's probably more important that we not give money to an organization that lies to us than to continue to support them. What do you think is more important? Continue to give money to the World Health Organization who lied to us about the start of this pandemic? Or maybe cutting off the money to the World Health Organization, Admiral? Um, as the U.S. representative to the executive board of the World Health Organization, um, it's clear that the organization needs reforms, and I will work with the administration to try to implement those reforms while preserving some very important global public health. How about this one? How about this one? What's more important, uh, requiring committee members to wear a mask in a committee hearing when they're 10 feet apart from anyone else, or not sending COVID-positive people back into nursing homes? Which is more important? Uh, that's a public health determination, and I will say it's definitely more important not to send COVID-positive people. No kidding. Especially, and probably it's more important not to do it for 46 days than to do it for even one day, right? Yes, sir. And, and is it probably important when we're dealing with a pandemic that we actually get the information from the people who engage in that behavior, like the governor of the state of New York, who for 46 days sent COVID-positive people back into nursing homes? Might it be helpful if we'd, he would actually give us that information? Information is always uh, the basis for which we can understand uh, what's happened and how to avoid it in the future. Yes, sir. Admiral, I appreciate your work. I appreciate all you, uh, the work you're doing. Common sense, 
common sense approach to all this versus what we're seeing from Democrats. We can't let people go to their loved one's funeral, but oh my goodness, we can, jo we can join thousands of people in a protest. Mary Garcetti can walk out in front of thousands of people, kneel down to them without a mask. That's fine. But oh, you go to an empty beach, he wants someone to snitch you out, rat you out, and report you to the government. And I guess you get some kind of reward. Maybe he's handing out ribbons or certificates or something for people who rat out their neighbors. I don't know. But I would like some common sense. I'd like some consistency about the First Amendment, about the Constitution when it comes to these Democrat mayors and Democrat governors around the country. I yield back. As I go to uh, uh, Chile 